Okay, how's everybody doing today? I'm Preston with DIY Hunter, and what we're gonna be doing today, sighting in my new 20 gauge. TriStar 20 gauge with a Burst Fast Fire 4. Uh, we're gonna be shooting a couple different loads here. We've got some Apex TSS ammunition. I've got uh, Apex 20 gauge nine shot. I've got Apex uh, Small Town Blend, which I'm very excited about. It is a nine and a seven and a half shot mix. I've got some Remington Nitro Turkey. And I've got some Winchester Longbeard XR six shot, courtesy of Jack. So we're gonna be sighting these four in and we're gonna be checking out, I have I threw an aftermarket choke in. It is a Carlson's Turkey TSS or XR choke, a 568 constriction. Um, I took the stock one out. I haven't even shot the stock one yet. I'm gonna try this one first because this gun with that choke combination is online in quite a few places and people really love it. And we're gonna give this thing a whirl. First thing we're gonna do though is get this new thing on paper. I've not shot this yet at all. Um, typically eyeballing them, you can get very, very close, but I set the target up. I've got some old rifle targets here that'll be plenty clear. And we're gonna throw some, basically what you'd consider almost a bird shot and just get the thing on paper. Then we'll do some sight in videos and we're gonna show you with the light up turkey, the light up turkey targets, exactly what we're getting pattern wise and kind of make a decision on what round I'm gonna be running through this. Now, unfortunately I only have one box of each of the apexes so hopefully I figure it out in one shell because I would prefer to have, or they're both really good, and then I have all 10 rounds and I can use either or for the season. So we're gonna find out. So let's get to shooting, see what we come up with. Okay, first round we're running through here is a Nitro Turkey. Nitro Turkey, I don't know, five shot. We're just trying to get this thing on paper. The speed bead, I just did the up and down and it looks pretty close. So let's find out what happens. Never shot a 20 gauge with turkey rounds before. So actually I think it's a, I think it's a little high. We'll see here in one second. Oh, don't want to forget this. Well, I was right, a little high and a little left. So we'll move the speed beat a little bit and then we'll go from there. Okay, so I think we got her on paper pretty close at 20. Now I moved it to about 35 and we're gonna shoot another Nitro Turkey and I'd expect it to cover that target pretty dang well. So hopefully this one's on paper. Then we'll go from there, but then we're gonna jump to the TSS rounds and the Longbeard XR round and the heavyweight Federal TSS. And we'll do a comparison and we'll pick from there and hopefully we got four rounds to go and we're done. All right, she's live. Okay, let's go check that one out. But it doesn't look too bad for 35 with a Nitro Turkey number five. Now it's shooting a little bit high and I stupidly put my, my sun guard on and left the Allen wrench. So I can't move it up and down. So what I'm gonna do is just hold a hair low to sight these in and I'll come back out and I'll put one round through it and we should be good to go. But for purposes of this, this might be just a hair high for me guessing, so unfortunately, but it actually still looks pretty good for aiming dead on. So let's go check it out. So I just caught to myself, I got the camcorder running, filming the downrange target, and uh, I 
figured out I'm screaming. I forgot I have headphones in. So, whoa, look at that. An SD card. Let's see if that baby still works. Probably not. I'm sure it's mine. So here's the nitro turkey. Okay, so let's check this out. As you can see, I end right in the middle. This really isn't that bad. I mean, it is hitting a little high, but that's only gonna take me a couple clicks on that red dot to move down. But this is only a five shot shell. That's not too bad for 30 yards for a five shot out of a low brass load. I mean, you can see definitely the majority is a hair high. So on the next one, I'm just gonna hold a hair low, but I would say we're on paper. So we're gonna move this to 40 and let's put the other rounds through and let's see what we come up with. Hopefully it's one round each and we are done. Let's find out. My gut feeling is the apex, the uh, seven and a half and nine is gonna be the one I'm gonna run. So let's find out. I think they're gonna, both apexes are gonna beat that federal load though. My gut feeling with us testing in the past, we'll see. Okay guys, here we go. First round, Longbeard XR, number sixes, three inch, number six. See what these puppies do. Okay, gonna change the target and then we'll do a recap. As you see here, the camera's picking up what's hitting on the target, but then I'll do a recap at the end and we'll show each one. So we'll kind of speed reel this for you so you don't have to sit here and watch me going back and forth. Next round, heavyweight TSS. Uh, it is a seven shot. Cool. Heavyweight TSS, federal, seven shot. Here we go. Oh, much improved over the, uh, much improved over the Longbeard XR, the six, six shot of lead. Okay, we'll keep this going. Okay, small town hunting blend, seven and a half and nine shot mix by Apex. Wow, wow those, those bastards, bastards kick. kick. Woo! For a 20? Good lord, that kicked a lot harder than I thought. Okay, one round to go. Let's go check this one. Okay, last round. The nine shot Apex, one and five eighth ounce. And I'll list all this in the details so you guys can see. Last but not least, let's see what we got here. Okay, I think we shot every round. So that wraps up our shooting. We've got four rounds through the chamber and we'll get home. I'll uh, show you all the papers, get inside where it's a little less windy and we'll review everything and go from there. Kind of excited. Some of these are really, really good for 40 yards with a 20 gauge. Okay, so here we are back at the house and I've got all the patterns down. And one of the things that I wanted to be clear on was, like I said in the video, I forgot the hex screw head to adjust my Burris Fast Fire down. So what I'm looking for on these patterns, because I'm going to go back out and I'll finish it, but it's really, really close. I'm just looking for the density. And I hope you guys can understand and translate, even if it's not in the head of the turkey, 
at least it's it's only three inches high, four inches, so it doesn't matter. But I'm looking purely at density. Um, I have the left and right down. I just need to go down and bump it out a little. But that getting said, let's get to the targets. And first one, the Longbeard XR number sixes at 40 yards. And we've shot these basically our entire lives to the last like two years when we started running the TSS. So the number sixes, I actually shot this twice because out of a 20 gauge at 40 yards, I wasn't super impressed, but I still had, this isn't even high. I aimed low so this would look good for you. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. 12 BBs in the kill shot. That is with a 0.568 choke, Longbeard XR. I know a lot of guys are running 550s in the 20 gauge. It's just too tight for me. I don't want that at 15 yards. Um, I would like to get a little bit more margin of air. Most of the birds I shoot are 25, 30 yards. But again, you can see pretty spread out, but I still counted maybe 15 or 18 in the, uh, in the kill zone. And inside the 10 inch circle, there's about 25. So Longbeard XR, if you're going to hunt with it with a 20 gauge, get a tighter choke. That's the moral here. Get a 5.50. Don't run a 5.68 like I was, but I was planning on using TSS. So on to the next target, the Federal TSS in seven shot actually performed really well. Unfortunately, my pattern missed a little high. Like I said, each one of these rounds were shooting a little different out of this gun as well. So... I was just trying to get it on paper so you could see pattern density, and then you sight in the fast fire to which one that you want to use. The Apexes both shot a little right, the Federal shot a little high, but in terms of density, that's pretty awesome. In my opinion, that's absolutely an awesome round with a 7 shot, because I believe the 7 shot in TSS, TSS carries a... Uh, um, an energy level of around like a two and a half size in lead, which is pretty awesome because I know a nine is equal to a four. So I believe a seven is equal to about a two and a half, which is pretty crazy. Federal TSS number seven. That's a lot of density. I mean, when you look on the backside, you really can see that's a ton. So, so far, if we're going, no money, no costs. Lead TSS, we're going TSS federal. So we'll put that number one right now. Then we're going to the Apex, the small town blend at 40 yards, which was a mix of a seven and a half and a nine in TSS. I don't know what percentages that is. I've never asked them, but I know that it's a, it's a blend. Um, this is pretty killer. And as you can see, I said the Apex is shot a little right out of my gun. So I'm going to have to fine tune to these, but that is a pretty intense pattern of a 20 gauge at 40 yards. Considering I'm using a 5.68 choke, I'm not even using a 5.50. That's a lot. Uh, in my opinion, that is, again, that pattern has missed right at 40 and has still has 45 or 48 in the kill zone. So here's the Federal 7s and the Small Town Blend. I would have to argue this is your winner, again. Now, that being said, yes, there's 9s in there. There's going to be more of a dense pattern. I'm fine with that. That's what we're trying to do here. And it is a little bit to the right. All I got to do is click this back to the left and we're in the money zone. Even so, at 40, that's still in the money zone. Then, take the Apex number nines, which, in my opinion, weren't high, weren't low. This was, I mean, this was pretty much, it's, it's three inches high. However, that's pretty killer. So... I'm not sure what round I'm going to run, Apex number nines or the small town blend, but I would have to argue it's not relative. The small town blend actually held a denser pattern, to be honest. You can see the actual density in this whole quadrant. This here is just the entire chart. So arguably, this gives you a better spread. And we have 35-40 in the kill zone. 35-40 in the kill zone. I, I don't know. You make your decision. Apex, small town blend, Apex 9. I know I'm probably going to run these 9s at first. 
But if I go back out and put another one through my gun, if I move this just a hair left and a hair down, I might be running the small town blends. I don't think it's relative. And they shoot both so similar, I could put either one in the gun. Either way, I did not shoot at 50 or 60, but I'm fairly confident that 10 more yards is more than efficient. So you guys make your decision. I hope you enjoyed this video. Every season we've done some type of a sight in, a comparison contrast. So here's your 20 gauge sight in. Hopefully this helped you. And if you like this video, please click subscribe. Really helps out our channel a lot. It keeps us getting you new, fresh content. So when you're out there in the woods, guys, always remember, be original. Thanks, guys.